Well, thank you for uh, joining us this morning. I'm delighted to have the mayor with me of Pocahontas. Uh, this is A.J. Gary, my director of uh, uh, Adam, uh, Arkansas Department of Emergency Management. Uh, this morning, uh, A.J. and myself uh, came here uh, via Sharp County and we've done a flyover on a state police helicopter uh, which gave us a good perspective of the flooding that's occurred in northeast Arkansas. As we leave here, we'll be going back through Lawrence County to make sure we're able to uh, survey the uh, damage there. Uh, I had a call from uh, Senator Johnson who wanted me to go up to Clay County as well, but I think we have a, a good sense of the extraordinary risk that the citizens of Northeast Arkansas are placed in because of the current flooding. And of course, we're concerned about uh, uh, upcoming weather and additional rains as well. From a statewide perspective, we've had uh, seven deaths as a result of the flooding statewide. Uh, we, I have declared it a state of emergency so that we can more effectively respond to the challenges, cut through some regulations, uh, be more responsive to our local officials. And I want to applaud uh, the mayor, uh, the county judge, all of the local officials that have done an extraordinary job in emergency response, uh, in uh, search and rescue missions, in uh, mandatory evacuations, helping the citizens. And as the mayor and I were talking, it's uh, extraordinary to uh, see citizens that are out there uh, they might be on dry land, but others aren't, and they're helping their neighbors. And uh, that's what we do here in Arkansas, in Northeast Arkansas. It's very encouraging to see how much community support there is for those that uh, are struggling. Uh, we started out in uh, Sharp County, and the good news there is that the Black River recedes very quickly uh, there in Ash Flat in the park area. But here in Pocahontas, it's a different story and the water continues to rise, and uh, nothing beats seeing it firsthand. Uh, we've observed uh, houses uh, underwater, businesses that are flooded, multiple businesses. Uh, we've seen uh, levees that uh, are holding, but will soon uh, most likely be overflown, uh, overrun uh, with the water. Uh, and then when you look at the uh, potential for additional rains, uh, there's going to be a continued fight that we have in the in the coming days. Um, from a, again, from a state perspective, I declared a state of emergency. We also deployed uh, two units of the Arkansas National Guard, uh, one for protective uh, work for the areas that have had evacuation, others for uh, search and rescue. They're being positioned out of Jonesboro, but will be available to respond as needed. The Arkansas State Police has been a uh, great uh, ally in this with their deployment of their mobile command center uh, in northeast Arkansas with the additional support for search and rescue units out of the state police. Uh, we also have uh, utilized resources from the Department of Corrections that I authorize for sandbagging uh, through uh, the use of uh, inmate labor. And so a lot is being done both from a state perspective but uh, it is uh, really uh, the mayor and the local officials that are having to take the brunt of this. I wanted to uh, turn this over to the mayor to give his comments. I'll ask uh, Director uh, Gary to make comments as well before we take questions. Thank you. First of all, I would just like to thank the, the governor for coming and taking interest in our problems that we're having right now. Uh, and to give a slight update, uh, I just got word that the, the levee is probably going to breach any minute. So uh, all of those people that live in the rubble addition that haven't evacuated, I, I would suggest get out of there now while you can still. Uh, I'd like to thank the county judge and the county officials and all of the emergency uh, response teams that we've had in place with the county and city. We've worked together hand in hand just like a community should. Uh, I'd like to thank... Uh, our local police chief and fire chief, they've worked uh, a lot of hours uh, trying to make sure everybody's safe. Uh, also our parks department, uh, they're setting up a, they have set up a shelter at the old nursing home. So if you have no place to go or you're displaced for this flood, uh, see them on at the old nursing home. Uh, and those 
employees from the parks department have worked tirelessly through the night to make this shelter possible. Uh, thank you very much. I'll turn it over now. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I just want to echo the appreciation and uh, the respect for the local officials here, the first responders, um, the county uh, OEM, county judge, the mayor. You know, we're, we're here now because a disaster is happening, but there's a lot of things that go on before a disaster occurs. There's a lot of planning, a lot of exercises that take place, and this partnership between the state, the local emergency management, the mayors, the county judges, is an ongoing thing and we go through those processes so that when an event like this happens that that we're prepared and we already know some of the steps that need to be taken um, uh, kudos to the mayor and, and and the county officials here the county judge uh, local oem again for the work that they've done uh, over the last few days this is an ongoing event as y'all know and we will continue to be working with them um, from the Department of Emergency Management as the water recedes, as we uh, gather uh, property damage results and start putting paperwork together to, uh, to, to tr try to get some things taken care of. So, uh, Governor, I appreciate it. Let me conclude by saying, uh, Mayor, and I want to recognize Senator Linda Collins-Smith, who's here as well, who uh, certainly uh, communicated uh, the challenges that you face. but. Uh, you know, while this is primarily a local response, uh, the work of the state comes in in terms of the damage assessment, providing uh, support when needed, and I've assured the mayor that if there is anything that is needed, then uh, we will do everything that we can to make sure that is provided. I also just want to express my uh, concern for the citizens of this area that uh, have the chin up, but at the same time are going through a tough time I visited with some of them that's had their house flooded and had to move into a temporary shelter. Those are not easy times, but our Kansans are tough and ready for these to weather these kind of a storm. So with that, I'll be happy to take any questions. So with, um, you guys just mentioned that the water is rising it's about to top the levee in some areas. And it was initially supposed to be, or projected to press uh, on Friday at 29 and a half feet. It's moving more quickly. Do you think that it potentially will reach a higher height than that? Uh, I do. Uh, it's right now projected at 29 feet for crest, as you know, but uh, with the potential of additional rains, uh, uh, there is potential for it going higher. That's uh, not something we can predict, predict with accuracy. Uh, Director Gary is in touch with the National Weather Service, of course, who's making this projection. We'll continue to monitor that. Thank you for the question, and I, uh, I do think that that's one of the benefits of making this flyover and this tour here, is that I see the reality of what, uh, what is it, five rivers, uh, uh, can do to a community. And uh, water's got to go somewhere, and uh, it's we've got to have a time of assessment to see, you know, with the flood in 2011, was it 2008 as well. Uh, and then here in uh, 2017, uh, we do need to do some long-term uh, studies as to how we can uh, take necessary steps to avoid this in the future. And so uh, uh, I know the Corps has a role to play in it. We've talked about uh, the need for perhaps dredging uh, of the uh, rivers, but uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, different aspects and, and studies that need to be done before you make a final determination. So in 2011, some of the people who live in town told us that a lot of people didn't take those evacuation orders as seriously as they should have and they had to do a lot of emergency rescues. Um, I know it's supposed to be worse this time. Have any emergency rescues been made at this point? Uh, certainly statewide, uh, there has been emergency uh, that rescues that have been taking place. Do you want to comment on that, AJ? 
Yeah, we've uh, statewide we've had over 40 um, rescues throughout. I think 21 in one county alone. So, um, and again, like just to go with what the mayor said, you know, we're encouraging people to evacuate those areas. Uh, you know, there's no reason to put our first responders in jeopardy and put their lives in danger to have to go in and rescue them. So we, we can't stress enough the importance for people in those areas to evacuate. I would uh, emphasize that as well. And then secondly, it's important to emphasize that when you see a road that has water crossing it, turn around. Uh, don't think that, uh, you know, it's not rising. Don't think that you can uh, make it through with a car. Uh, you've got to turn around. We've seen a number of incidences of really a loss of life uh, whenever somebody tried to ford a, uh, uh, a river whenever it was not suitable to do that. Uh, thank you all very much. Oh, we have a question back here. Uh, I know the mayor uh, really urged yesterday for sightseers to stay home, and uh, that needs to happen. There's uh, rescue efforts, there's uh, uh, people who are engaged in protecting property and lives, and we need to let uh, these crews work, and we need to have the sightseers uh, that uh, will stay in the residences. So thank you for pointing that out. Do you have anything else to add on that? We do have security stationed over there uh, in the east side of uh, National Guard as we were over there uh, a few minutes ago, maybe an hour or so ago, was over there. So that, that is trying, we're trying to every effort to control that. Governor, we just want to thank you for coming up. It's really important for our, the people here for you to see this, your new governor. And I don't know if you've ever seen this much water uh, come down on some folks, but we really thank you for coming up here. It's important to all of us that you come. Thank you so much. Thank you, Senator. Thank you all very much.